All right, once you have your scanning done for the volume you're going to calculate, let's first go and view to make sure we have everything scanned that we need to. So we'll go into the points, lines, and areas, and we'll click on the Scan tab, and we're going to display, change all the displays from No to Yes, or at least the ones that you want part of the of the uh, volume and then hit view and here I have it set up for single color you can change it to intensity or RGB if you took photo uh, panoramic images with it right now we have it for single color so I can see if each area has been covered the top is not covered because it's kind of flat and you can't get it from the bottom so if I view here and spin around I can see that I've gotten all the sides I've needed to so we are done with the scanning portion of the volume calculation press OK escape and now we're gonna go in and do a calculation of the volumes on board we'll go to work and we'll go to survey plus in survey plus we're going to go to quick volumes select the job that you are using and select OK F1 then you'll be asked to enter the name of the surface that you're going to create once you name the surface you have two options here to include all scans or to include all measured points if you include all the measured points it will create the volume with the points that you use for the setups so it would give you an erroneous volume calculation unless your setups were on the pile that you are going to calculate anyways so we're going to name this gravel and we're going to only include the scans and not include the measured points once you have named your surface and checked or unchecked the relevant uh, scans and points that you want press F1 OK which isn't shown here but a progress bar would come up showing it's triangulating the surface once it's done doing a triangulation here's the information that you will get from it you'll see the number of triangles vertices minimum elevation as well as this maximum elevation and on the bottom you'll see a DXF file has been stored to the job. This information can be retrieved later as we'll show you with a format file onto an ASCII output. The next step in the process is uh, which type of method are you going to calculate? We have three. Um, the stockpile method which is nothing more than getting a complete volume of the area that you have scanned. The second method of volume calculations is um, surface to elevation where it automatically puts in the minimum elevation or you can revert back to the minimum elevation by pressing F3. By using this you'll get two volume calculations one above the elevation and one below the elevation. The third method is surface to a point. So if you had, in this case, you have point ID number two and the elevation is 102.66, choose any points that you've already measured and it'll use that elevation and it'll work similarly to surface to elevation and it will give you two volume calculations, one above and one below that elevation. For this demonstration purposes, we're just going to use the stockpile method. So we're going to select stockpile and press F1 for OK. When selecting the stockpile method and hitting OK, a progress bar will pop up uh, calculating the volume. Here you see the results page with the summary of the area and the volume of the pile that we've scanned. Pressing store, we will be able to retrieve this with a format file so to get a printout 
of the volume calculations that we just performed, we can go to Jobs and Data, Export and Copy, and Export Custom Data. From here, we're going to export the data into the data folder of the SD card. We're going to use the job pile. We don't have a coordinate system on here, and we're going to use the format file volumecalculation.frt. This format file will be available in the attachment tab below this video. And we're going to output a pile.txt. We simply hit OK. And since I've done this before, we're going to overwrite it. And I don't want to export any more, so we're going to hit no. So opening up the SD card and going into the data folder, there is a file called pile.txt. This is the results of that. I just opened it up in Notepad. And you can see it's got the job name, surface name, the file that we sent it to, the date, all the surface information that we've got before, the volumes results, we use the stockpile method, and you can see at the bottom we have a total volume of 42,660.9 cubic yards. We have no cut and fill because we're only doing a stockpile. If we had do it from a elevation or a point, it would give you the reference point elevation here, the point number right here, the um, stockpile would be changed to whatever method you do and you would have a cut and a fill above and below the reference elevation.